Hi everyone, P Long here. I'm just at the back of our camera. So, these are black soldier fly eggs. And this is an Apple TV remote control that I place here so you can get um, the idea of the dimensions. Now today I would like to share with you uh, what the hatching process of black soldier fly larvae look like and uh, how long it taken and also this feed here, how I prepared. Alright, so let's have a look at first. Eggs here, I have them in, I have collected them in different stages. This one is the oldest, uh, that one, that one, and then that one. Alright, so I'll show you what they look like. So this, this batch here, uh, they hatched last night. This is currently hatching. This is uh, probably tomorrow, and this is probably the day after tomorrow. So let's have a look at what they look like. That one look like that one, that one, and then that one. Yeah. So. Let me zoom in. Uh. All right, so let's have a look at this one. Zoom in. This is this is six times zoom. That's as clear as I can go. Yeah. So this is uh really fresh um, this one is hatching now six times zoom hmm? So let me show you this one uh, hatch yesterday. The reason why you can see some uh, black soldier fly um, hatch and they move into here is because they move from there and then they move here somehow. But uh, this this bunch here, they had last night, and as you can see, this uh, the leftover is probably the outer shelves. Now this one, I reckon it will they will hatch probably this time tomorrow this one here because this one i collect uh, the eggs are like one day apart so this one will hatch uh, tomorrow now let me share with you uh, the feed that i have prepared for them now this uh, this uh, chicken feed I put in the blender and grind it up really fine. 
so a bit of water, give it a bit of moisture and mix it up. This uh, piece of plastic uh, is I used to collect the egg and put them on. I don't use paper or, uh, or thick paper at all. The reason for that is my feet uh, is a bit moist and when it's moist the, the, the paper is going to uh, suck in the moisture and also absorb the, the moisture and in turn the eggs going to be wet wet eggs are no good so, so keep your eggs your black soldier fly eggs dry now when would you uh, prefer, prepare the feed for this I suggest not to prepare immediately the reason the black soldier fly love uh, eggs usually will take about 48 hours give or take depend on the temperature of your local area so if it's hot it will hatch uh, it will take shorter time to hatch so um, give it about 48 hours once you collect the egg to prepare your feed and this is what my uh, feed will look like but before showing that I will I'll take this plastic out and I can show you underneath the plastic where this bunch here hatch yesterday they crawl underneath and start to feed let me show you all right let me zoom in and show you they're really tiny you cannot see them unless uh, you zoom in even even with at this stage you can barely see them uh, this is six times zoom so you can see them moving there so this soldier fly uh, moving there they probably less than 24 hours uh, they hatch last night all right so let's let me cover it up let's see how this guys are going so Hatching really good. They will start to migrate from there to there and then just go under this to hide. They like they like it dark, so they will just go under this to hide and to feed. I hope it has been helpful and I'm looking forward to 
share with you what I know about black soldier fly larvae or black soldier fly in general in the next video. Uh, if you have any question, comment, suggestion, let me know in the comment section. Until then, I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.